When my dad bought this USB pen drive, he was asking me to check out. It purports to be 2 terabytes, but uh, we're not so sure about that claim, so he wanted me to test it out. And, uh, you know, let's just get this out of the way. It is a USB cable, not a USB drive. Uh, back of the packaging uh, says, Material of wire, the coat for this product is made from TPE. Material of env environmental protection. Okay, it feels good, smooth, wear-resisting, flame retardant, non-discoloring, and no yellow turning. Okay, that's, that's great. What's more, it's no harm for children's skin. Adults beware. Uh, Twenty-four karat gold plating, copper contact. Twenty-four karat gold plating plug. I call bullshit on both of those. The plug was tested with 48 hour salt mist test and film thicknesses of plating test. Okay. Core wire is made of high pure 4C enameled copper and has antioxidant. High transmission performance. What? The biggest designated transmitting rate of data is 480 megabits per second. We're gonna test that. The temperature resistance of cable 105 degrees Celsius, rated voltage, blah, 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 blah. Made in China. Now that I can believe. I'm just gonna check out the, uh, the product page here on wish.com, a site that is full of Chinese crap for cheap and it is what they say, you get what you pay for. It sells for 100 crowns, that's about $10. Uh, let's check out some of the reviews. Uh, rip off, the drive fried after one or two uses, seems to really store that much information, but it overheats and destroys itself. I lost a lot of data. It's a trick, it will say it has 2000 gigabytes when you plug it into your computer, but when you try to copy more than what it really is, it just deletes previous files over and over again. They come with as much as 16 gigabytes total, and the rest is just mini computer program meant to confuse your computer in an endless loop. Does not copy some files properly, they are unreadable after copying. Fake flash drive, it's only about 512 gigabytes. So yeah, usually what these uh, guys do over in China, they uh, make these cheapo flash drives um, from, you know, 8 gigs to 16 gigs or what have you, and they, um, install some sort of program on the disk to make it look larger than it is when you plug it in. Now, obviously, if you try to copy information that doesn't fit on the drive, then it's just going to overwrite the existing information, and you will have corrupt files. So... What we're going to do is we're going to run a utility on this drive to try to figure out just how much data it can actually take and see if we can uh, change the drive so it displays the correct space. Even so, I honestly wouldn't recommend using this for anything. Um, I would much rather buy a Kingston or a Sony or whatever else, um, you know, name brand thing because I wouldn't trust this with well, much of anything really even if we did know its exact specifications so I put in the pen drive and uh, much to what it says it uh, purports to be 2 terabytes or 1.90 it says it claims to be a U-Disc uh, XFAT file system uh, general U-Disc USB device. So it does present itself as two terabytes. I'm going to be running a check with RM Prep USB. I'm going to give this bad boy a quick size test just to see. It appears to be a large device. Yes, it is. Test all data. Now, given that this is two terabytes, it's probably going to take a while, even if it is a quick test. So I'll let this run and come back. It's been a few hours. Uh, it's still going. It's at 65%, a little more than an hour left. Um, considering it's taking this long, I'm kind of doubting that their claim of 480 megabits per second is uh, a lie. I guess we'll see. I ended up having to run another utility and another test. I was using a fake flash test for this one. Uh, I did the test empty space option. Uh, it tested uh, 9,000 megabytes, and out of those, only 7,600 megabytes were good. Uh, and then after that, it started to loop back on itself, so... Uh, two terabytes, it is not.
Of course, it's still reporting that it is two terabytes, and nothing that we do in Windows will be able to change that. We have to uh, actually go into the firmware and change it. But I'm not going to bother to do that. There are ways to uh, find programs on the internet that you can do that with, but a lot of them are a bunch of uh, Chinese and Russian sites that are sketchy at best. And, um, like I said earlier, this flash memory probably isn't even worth the trouble, even if it is uh, 8 gigs. Um, I wouldn't really trust it with any kind of files that I would want to put on a flash drive. So that's that. It's only 8 gigs.